Hey everyone, this is Bremster, and today I'm coming to you with the first puzzle, there'll be five in this video, of the next um, genuinely approachable um, Sudoku, or Gas Sudoku series. This is the puzzle from the 11th of December 2023, and it is an anti-diagonal Sudoku by Bill Murphy. The message that came with this one was, you all know how I love to talk, right? Can't do that today though, girlfriend is on my shoulder waiting for me to finish this so we can um, have our food delivery, so I've got to be quick. Just like today's puzzle, it's the opposite of what you'd expect. It's an anti-diagonal Sudoku. So that's the whole message. Um, what it did say is the dinosaur, if you don't complete it in a hat time, is a hungry, hungry Huang uh, Hui, uh, Huangosaurus. So cool. So this is an anti-diagonal Sudoku. Anti-diagonal, it looks like diagonal Sudoku, but it's done differently. So it's normal Sudoku rules, but on the each mark diagonal, each mark diagonal can only contain three distinct digits. So um, yeah, that's the way it works. So rather than having to have nine different digits, it can only have three different digits on each diagonal. This is a known, uh, a very well-established diagonal constraint. I've been seeing this one since I entered the hobby. Restart the puzzle to restart my timer. Let's give this a shot. Well, we know that two is on this diagonal. So two is in one of those two. Five is in one of those two. We know that two and five are in those, but I don't know that that helps me. I know one is in one of those two and six is in one of those two. Now, I I also know that one and six are in there, but I don't think that's going to help me just yet. I'm trying to see what I can do. Now, I can make this a three by Sudoku. Um, I can... Ooh, okay. So, what's going to go on here? Um, so, the three digits that are on this can't be one, three, eight, or nine. So, I cannot put one, three, eight, or nine on these. So, there's, on this... What am I saying? Two. That should have been five. Um, I can't put one, three, eight, or nine. Well, it means that one is in one of those. And down here, I can't put eight or nine on this line. So eight is in one of those two. So eight is in one of those two. Okay, this one's a little bit more tricky than a lot of the anti-diagonal. I can't put five up here and I can't put five there. So five is in one of those two. Because five can't go on this line. Seven and eight. Well, hang on. This is a five, seven, eight triple. Because five, seven, eight can't go on the line. So they can't go in those. So this is five, seven, eight. That's not a five. So this is five, seven, eight. So these are one, two, three, four, five, six, six and nine. So this is a 169, and this is a 169, but I can't put one in the middle, I can't put nine in the middle. It is six in the middle of the grid, um, so that's cool. So these are two, five, and six. So this is the five, and this is the six, because the six already in the column. These are two and six, and because I've already got the six in the row, that's the two, that's the six. These are two and five. Okay, now three is in one of those two by Sudoku. I don't know that that's it. What are these? One, four, and seven. There's no four there. There's no seven there. That's probably not it. This is a three by Sudoku, which puts three in one of those two. Seven is in one of those two. Four is in one of those two. Hmm, I'm actually not sure. So there's there's this quadruple. Well, hang on, this six looks like making that the nine. So this is the six. There is no six in those, by the way. That is a one nine. So what are these? One, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So this is four, this is two. So these, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, these are eight and nine. But this is now a triple. There's no eight there because of the seven, eight pair at the top. Hang on. Why did I take five out of those? That is completely wrong. Why did I take five out of those? There's no five there. This is the five. This is a seven, eight pair. And that's the seven and that's the eight. That's better because of that five. One, two, three, four, and six. The six in the middle makes that the four and that the six. So what is this triple? One, two, four, eight. There's no two there. 
Huh. This triple, one, two, three, four, seven. There's no three there. Four, seven, eight. There's a nine in one of those two. No, that's not it. Oh, this nine looks down. That's the one, that's the nine. Meaning that's not the one. That nine, maybe? What's this triple? One, five, seven. So this is five, seven. This is still one, five, seven. No. Though I have been missing my scanning and I'm not going to blame COVID anymore. I'm just going to blame my scanning. So this is a quadruple. One, seven, eight, nine. No seven there. What am I... Six is right there. So three, four, eight, nine go into all of those. Four, eight, nine makes sense. Oh, so these are three and four because of this eight, nine pair, which means that's eight, that's nine. That's not nine. These are four and seven. But that's seven, that's four. Taking four out of there, this becomes three, seven. The three, four is resolved, three and four. These are one, two, and five. There's no eight in those. So these are one, two, three, four, five, six, and eight. There's no six in either of those. So that's the six. Maybe it was this center box I should have looked at. Yeah, that's a... Oh, this three means that's not a three. So this is a three. I've now got a triple. One, two, three, four seven and eight so these are from four seven eight there's no four in those so that's the four sorry there's no four in those so that's the four the seven eight pair takes seven eight out of there makes that nine and that eight taking eight out of there this is a one seven nine so that becomes the eight Four, seven, eight in those as well. So this is a seven or an, uh, sorry, this is a seven, eight. This is a four, seven, eight. Ah, oh, this nine makes this the one and this the nine. Takes one out of there and there. So this is one, two, five, which it can be. Ah, oh, this is the two, this is the four. It takes four out of there, making that a seven, eight pair, taking seven out of both of those. Five, one. The five makes this eight and five, which makes this seven and eight, seven and eight. Did I just do that right? Yeah, I think I did. Seven and eight. What are, these are two, four, and nine. There's a two and a four in the middle in row five already. So this is two, this is four. The seven makes that three and that seven. The five makes that two, that five, taking five out of both of those. The two makes that five. There's no five there. This is a seven or a nine for the column, and there's a nine in the row. So that's the seven, that's the nine. Four, one, seven. One makes that two which makes that one, that two. The nine makes this a one. And to finish the puzzle, I put in a five. And that's correct in eight minutes and nine seconds. Not the fastest solve I've ever done, but not the slowest. Um, by the times, that does not get me two hats. It's just one. So I didn't do particularly well. Um, didn't do too badly. As I said, I, I'm not a speed solver. I, I've said this before. I don't particularly enjoy speed solving, but people did want to see what I could do. So that's what I'm trying to do. 
Um, I am still trying to explain while I'm doing it, but I'm putting a lot less explanation in than I normally do. Um, so, um, as always, I forgot to say this at the beginning, please, in the links below, check out the link to the um, the uh, GAS or GAS homepage, as well as to the Genuinely Approachable Sudoku YouTube page, um, where you will find, and on the homepage, you'll find links to other solvers who also post daily videos um, of them solving the GAS videos. Um, so you might enjoy those ones as well. Um, and now I'll cut over to tomorrow's puzzle, which I will record tomorrow. Hey, it's Brimster. It's now tomorrow, which it was, well, it's not. It's actually about four days ago for you seeing this. And it's always tomorrow for most people who see me because I'm in Australia. Oh, it doesn't matter. Time zones are weird. Anyway, um, this is the puzzle for the 12th of December, 2023. And this is Hurricane by Philip Newman. This one came with a message. Um, I mentioned in my last intro that I was away for the weekend for my birthday board games. I neglected to share, uh, for, no, sorry, for birthday board games. It wasn't Philip's birthday. I neglected to share something that made me laugh a lot Saturday morning so a lot Saturday morning so here it is the friend hosting the party has an older daughter and young twins Saturday morning before I woke up the following conversation between took took place between the older daughter and her dad am is Philip still here ah yes uh yeah he's just enjoying a chance to sleep in while he can am oh so he has kids too <laughs> Okay. Um, apparently, if you get a dinosaur on this one, you get a variant Volchimeria. Volchimeria. I, I'm terrible at these dinosaur names. So, yep, yeah, this is just a classic Sudoku. I'm going to restart the puzzle to restart my timer. Let's give this a shot. Um, so I can start with the ones because I have to put a one here. Um, can I do more with ones? Not obviously. Um, but I can do more with fives. There's a five here. Um, wow, okay. Threes, no. Nines, I can put a nine here. I can put a seven here. And, ah, four is in one of those two, but there's a four there, so that's not the four, and this is the four. Eight and eight means eight is in one of those two which means eight is up here. Don't want to pencil mark that yet. Six is in, ah, six is right here because six is down here, but it can't be here. So this is a six. So this is a quadruple. So let's mark this one, two, three, four. Well, there's no one in those. So one is in one of those, which puts one in one of those two. There's no two there. That's not great, okay. So these are two, three, four. So I've got to put eight and nine up here, but I can't put eight, nine here. This is an eight, nine pair. So this is the eight, this is the nine, and this is two, three, four. So this is two or three. There's no four there. So four is in here with one. We put four in one of those two, which makes that a four. So this is a triple. One, two, three, four, five, one, two, six. <laughs> There's no one there. There's no six there. So these are one, two, eight, and nine. Well, one is in one of those two. Nine is in one of those two. Which means nine is in one of those two. This feels like I'm just completely off the path. Oh, two, three pair. That's the four. So four comes out of those. Oh, this two makes this three, which makes this two, which takes two out of there. Okay, what's this triple? Four, five, six. There's no, f oh, there's no six there. There's no four there. So these, oh, that five makes that the four. This is a five, six pair. So this triple, two, five, six. So these are two, five, and six and must contain a two. There's no five there. So two is in one of those two, but it's right there. So this triple, five, six, seven. So these are five, six, and seven. There's no five there. 
Ah, I'm not doing this right. This is a triple. Two, eight, and nine. There's no nine there. There's no eight there. So if this is two, eight, nine, there's no two there. So this is six. This is one. One, two. This is three. This is two. So there's no two there. There's no two there. Is it this? One, two, three, seven, eight, nine. So this is three or seven. Three, seven, eight. That's everything. But, oh, one makes that two, which makes that one, that nine, that's eight. So this triple, four, five, seven. There's no four there no four there that's a four so that's a five that's a seven that's a six that's a five that's a six that's a seven that's a three this is five or six but up here well where's the six in the row it has to be there this is the five these are one two three four five and eight and i know the order eight and five this column one two three four five six Seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight, and nine go in there. There's no nine. There's no, no, nine, no six. My hands are still shaking a little. No three there. These are seven, eight, nine. This is an eight, nine, which makes that the seven. This triple is one, three, eight. No one there this row one three six eight so this is a one three give me a one three pair in the column so one two four five six eight. yeah these are two and four so two and four which has done remarkable oh hang on this three uh, uh, this eight nine makes this three which makes this one which makes this eight taking eight out of there this is a triple now. One, two, three, four, five, six, and nine. So these are one, six, nine. There's no nine there. There's no one or six there. This is nine. This is six. This is one. This is eight. This is nine. This is eight. This is nine. This is two. This is eight. There's no two there or there. This is two. Three isn't there or there. This is three. Need to put a five there. This is six. This three becomes one and three. And that is the solution. Six minutes and 16 seconds. Now, I've had 698 solvers on this puzzle already, which isn't too bad. My time is way under the two party. I oh, know. No, it's not. It's one party hat time. I missed out on two party hats by 16 seconds. Now, I've... I actually had a conversation with someone about the party hat times. Now, I'm not a speed solver. I've said this before. And because um, I was talking to them about how um, how valuable could be my solves be if um, I was so much slower than everyone else. And someone posted saying, the gas puzzles normally get hundreds, if not thousands of solves a day. And about 150 people post their times. So how many people are not posting their times because they're embarrassed to, because all of the people who are super fast just make them feel bad? Well, don't feel bad. Um, not everyone has to be fast. Um, and it's quite possibly a thing. Um, I, yeah, so I'm going to keep posting these videos, even if there's hundreds of people out there who go, oh my God, he's really slow. Um, I do puzzles to enjoy them. If I get my puzzle, I, I'll admit, I enjoy these puzzles less by rustling through them. Um, I used to solve them not on camera and I used to take my time with them and they were more fun. They were a lot more fun when I wasn't trying to do it quickly. Um, whereas now I'm sort of speeding myself up a little and I'm, I'm enjoying them less, which is a bit of a shame. Um, because when I try and get a puzzle over with as quickly as possible, it's like, okay, I, I could play my favorite music at double speed.
that it's no longer my favorite music. It, it, it It's just, yeah, I, I don't enjoy it as much. But that's what it is. Um, so, yep, yeah, that, that was me solving it at a speed that I enjoyed. Um, six minutes and 16 seconds. That was good. Thank you, everyone, for watching. And as always, well, actually, no, I'm cutting on to the next video <laughs> puzzle. Okay, and now for the puzzle for the 13th of December 2023, which is a Between Line Puzzles by Clover. The message that came with this one. The gas are YouTubers now. Whether we like it or not, the saga continues. I held my nose and started referring to it as gas Sudoku for the sake of the algorithm. Bill is sending the rest of us hot tips for making our audio sound like it wasn't recorded on a toaster. I even caught Philip practicing his YouTube thumbnail face in the mirror at Gas HQ. We're old and mostly just wanted to show off our puzzles, but gosh damn it this is a thing now and we're going to make it work hey will will pian um could i buy a ring light um if you get a dinosaur today you get a galvanized gallimimus um so um i've reached out to them and said if i could offer some help i would um i'm not saying i'm the best youtuber in the world far from it my lighting setup is not ideal um but it's the one that was hard built into this office before um i even considered making a youtube channel um, the audio setup I think that I have is okay, um, and I've got some practice doing stuff. But you know, the daily content is different, and it, it's 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 a it's a thing. Um, but um, yeah, so it's a, today's puzzle is a between line puzzle by Clover. Um, so rules, normal Sudoku rules apply. So one to nine in every row, column, and box. Um, digits on a longer line must have values between the values in the digits in the attached circles. So um, when you've got attached circles the digits um, on the line must be strictly between. For instance, if two and seven appear in the circles, then the only digits that can appear anywhere along the attached line are three, four, five, and six. Not all possible digits have to appear along the line and digits may repeat on lines. Um, yeah, I'm going to restart the puzzle to restart my timer. Now, one of the things about the times that did come up was um, I was talking to someone about my, um, after my discussion yesterday about the times that are posted and the fact that a lot of people post faster times than me. First of all, I, I don't enjoy speed solving, so I'm not very good at it. Um, the second thing is a lot of the people who are posting times are probably using the pencil mark checker was one of the, the other piece of feedback I got from someone else um, because they solve with the pencil mark checker and they regularly solve faster than I do, but they use the pencil mark checker. And when they see red digits, they can just ignore them. I don't do that. So anyway, um, I don't enjoy using the pencil mark checker, so I don't do it. Let's restart the puzzle to restart my timer. Let's give this a shot. So, um, between three and seven, there's only four, five, and six possible. Um, there's no, okay. Well, that means down here, one, two, three, and eight go into those. Well, hang on, this has to be the three then, and this is a two, eight pair. Um, this is a three, so what are these? One, two, three, four, five, six, two, and seven, which does work for the line, which is good. What are these? Um, one, Oh, well, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Can't put six down here. So this is a six. So these are not six. What are these three? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, two, four, five. Can't put five in any of those. So this is a five. These are now two and four. Um, can I do the same over here? Four, five, six, seven, eight. That's not as good. Um, because there's no six in those. There's no five here. This is not as good. Ah, these would have been though. Because these are two, three, four. There's no four here. So the two, three makes that the four, which makes that the two, which makes that the four. There's no four in either of those. This is a two, three pair. There was no eight in any of those. This is five, six, seven. Except there's no five up here or here. The seven, eight, there's no five. This is a six. I could take six out of here. This becomes five, seven. There's no four here. Oh, the six makes this five, which takes five out of both of those. The five makes that seven and that five. The three makes that two and that three. The two makes that seven and that two. The seven makes that eight and that seven. And the four makes that six and that four. Four comes out of those. Okay. 
I think I've got the constituents. Three makes that two and that three, which makes that eight and that two. Eight makes that seven and that eight. Five makes that six and that five. Okay. Now, one, one, one is here by Sudoku. These are six, seven, eight, nine. Well, eight is now here. Whoop, no, there. So these are six, seven, and nine. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. These are four and five. So four and five. These are two and three. Oh, the four makes that two and four. So in this row, is it two, three, seven, eight? One, two, three, four, five, six, two, three, seven, eight. So this is two or seven. So that's two, that's three, that's two, because there was a seven in the box. This is seven or eight. Um, trying to see what's most restricted. This column, I need to put a one in it. So the one is here. Two, three, you need to put a four in it. Four, seven, and nine. Well, so that is the four. This is now a seven, nine, and the nine tells me that's the seven, that's the nine. See, I slow down for, um, there's no, oh, and there's no nine in either of those. So six, seven, nine. I slow down to explain, but it's just what I do. One, two, three, four, five, six. There's no four or six there. That's the five. The four in the row makes that the six and that the four. This row is missing a five. These are one, two, and three. There's a one and a two already in that column. So one, two. So these are three, four, five, three and six. I've got a six already. So that's the three, that's the six. One, two, three, four, five, six. These are seven, eight, nine. There's a seven and a nine already. So eight, seven, nine. The seven makes that eight and that seven. One, two, three, four, five, and eight. And I'll use the eight there to make that three and that eight. Uh, and I'll use that two to make that one and that two. Four minutes, 10 seconds. I'm pretty happy with that. Um, four minutes, 10 seconds would have definitely got me two party hats. Actually, that was very fast, apparently. Um, seven minutes is what I needed. So, um, yeah, that was, that fell together ridiculously quickly. Um, the th reason the pencil marks I find speeds you up is two reasons. One is like at the end there, I hadn't even noticed that I hadn't finished the one two. Whereas when you get something highlighted in red, then your eye is immediately called to the fact that there is something on the grid you can resolve. Um, and that just means that all of a sudden, not only does it tell you what your scanning thing is, but it calls your attention to the fact that there is somewhere you can look. Um, whereas... I, I hadn't seen this. It was like, why is this not completing? It was running through my head when I put the digits up here. So I hadn't put these in. And that took time that the solver would not have required me to do. So, yeah. Um, I'd be interested to see comments from people who do not use um, the pencil mark checker at all to see what their times were. Um, I'm assuming, like, even when I watch the gas demonstration videos, they're using the pencil mark checker. So if they're using that to determine what the hat times are, um, yeah, it, it's a tool that everyone is using these days. Um, I, I don't enjoy it. Um, but then again, as I said, I don't enjoy speed solving. I prefer to go through things slowly. Um, and as I said, I don't think it shouldn't be used. I think it's a, it's a fine tool. I'm glad it exists. It's just, I, I don't, I personally don't enjoy it. Thanks everyone. Uh, actually, no, I'm not, don't sign off. There'll be a video tomorrow. Okay, so now we're up to the 14th of December, and this is a Numbered Rooms Sudoku by Bill Murphy. Numbered Rooms is a tricky one. I haven't done many Numbered Rooms puzzles. Today, number, uh, and this is the message that came with it. Today's Numbered Rooms Sudoku is brought to you by this shirt I really wanted to... Uh, really wanted to buy B Y <laughs> at Dangerfield today. I don't show this, not this shirt. This is not why I'm wearing this shirt. Uh, the closest touch point would be hot topic for non Australians. That's actually a good point. Um, yeah, so I just saw Dangerfield and immediately knew what it was. That That's a really one. Um, but, uh, but less, I think, just like less here to be on. Wow, I, what is going on? But less, I think, just. Wow, this one's tricky. So, uh, closest touch point would be hot topic for non-Australians, Australians without a capital A. 
Some of us are Australians are, are, are weird people, and some of us are grammar. Maybe it's maybe I'm older than Bill. Um, I think just like less here, to be honest. Uh, which I wanted to buy for reasons uh, dinosaurs ridiculous. I didn't buy for reasons expensive, kind of hideous. Okay, I I I I don't I don't get it. Um, so uh, if if you have it, uh, okay, the rules will be list. I'll go through the rules in a minute. If you don't get it within time, then you will get a lightweight polymer. Uh, Pocalipillarian. I'm terrible at these names. Pokil Pokilopillarian. Great. <laughs> oh. Okay. So switching to the screen with the puzzle on it. So the way numbered rooms work is um, it's a normal Sudoku grid. Um, clues outside the grid appear in the Xth cell from that clue, where X is the first cell seen by that clue. So for example, if this was a four, it would mean that the three, which is the clue outside the grid, has to be in the fourth cell from that direction. So, I mean, this can't be a four, but if this was a four, then we would count one, two, three, four, and this would be a three. That's the way the rule works. That's basically how numbered rooms work. I'm going to restart the puzzle to restart my timer. Let's give this a shot. So, for example, we know that this is a two because the five is in the second spot. This is a uh, two because the nine is in the second spot. I'm just looking for clues we have. Um, seven is in the sixth spot. Eight is in the seventh spot. Nine is in the eighth spot. One is in the second spot. Two is in the third spot. Three is in the fourth spot. Four is in the fifth spot. So these, well, this has to be the one, and therefore this is the nine. Um, okay, can I do more here? Yes, three is in the sixth. Six, two is in the seventh. One is in the eighth. Eight was in the third, seven was in the fourth, six was in the fifth. So there is a one and a nine left over. So this is one, this is nine. Uh, nine is in the seventh spot. So this is a, tr a quadruple. I need to put a one. Uh, let's do some Sudoku. Now there's probably a limit to, well, one can't be here. So one is here, here, or here. So it's in two, four, or seven. And that can't be seven. So this is a two or a four. Okay, eight can't be in one, two, three. Oh, eight is right there by Sudoku. So this is a seven. This is one, two, six, and nine. Nine is in one of the, oh, this is the six. This is a two nine pair. So this is the one. These are one, two, three, four, six and seven. So actually let's look at this quadruple because one, three, six, eight. Now, if this was a one, the three would be in the same spot. If this was a three, it would say the three is in the third spot. So the six, the three, and the three can't be in the the um, the eight spot because the eight is where the seven is. So that puts the six in. Now there's no eight there. So one, three, four go in those. So this is the one, this is the three, this is the four. I'm definitely not doing great at this for speed solving. This is the eight, this is the one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and nine go in those. There's no six there. This is the six. This is one and five. No, oh, the one is no longer in the second spot. The one is there. So this is the four. It makes this the five, this the one. One, two, and eight. Now the two, actually, so if this is eight, this is two. If this is two, we're, oh, hang on. If this is two, this is eight. So this is a two, eight pair. No, wait, that's completely wrong, isn't it? Yeah, that's completely wrong. What am I even talking about? I can't put a two here. I'm, bleh. Eight here is in the ninth spot. So this is two and nine. Nine. This is now a pair. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, two, three and eight. So two is either here or here. Have I done all of these? Five is in the eight spot. 
I think I've done all of the clues now, except for this one. Okay. So this is a two. One, two, three, four, and eight. Well, there's no four there, so this is the four. One, five. So this is five and one. So two isn't in the third spot. This is eight, two, eight. Now we're down to Sudoku. That makes this three and eight. Two and three, so two, three. This nine makes this seven and nine. One, two, three, four. So four and three, which makes four and three. This is six or seven, so seven, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six and seven go into those, so six and seven. And now I just need to do the final box with two, four, five. These are six, eight, and nine. There is no nine there, so that's the nine. That's the eight, and that's the six. Four minutes, 56 seconds. So four minutes, 56 seconds was enough to get two party hats. So I'm actually pretty happy with that. Um, yeah, maybe not the best speed solve in the world, but no pencil mark checking, um, not that familiar with numbered rooms. Yeah, um, cool. Um, and one more puzzle left to go in this video. I can't do it now because it hasn't been released yet, but for you with the magic of editing, and now we're back with the video for the 15th of December, 2023, X Factor by Philip Newman. The message Philip sent with this one was between physical therapy for my shoulder and catching up on other appointments that I couldn't keep while in a sling, this month has been full, but I'm happy to announce that I have now achieved appointment bingo for the next week. Okay. Well, next week, doesn't that come close to including Christmas? So... Yeah, that could be very, very weird. Um, 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 my system isn't doing what it should be doing. Um, okay, uh, today's guest is a diagonal Sudoku. She, it's a teensy bit tricksy, so the times are generous compared to Clover's and Bill's. So, uh, if you get this one in, uh, do not get this one in your party hat times, you'll get a jaunty Zhang uh, Zhang Zishin. I, uh, these dinosaur names are breaking me. <laughs> they are absolutely breaking me. So this apparently is a tricksy diagonal Sudoku. Um, so the way diagonal Sudoku it works is fairly simple. Um, in every box, in every row, in every column, and in every one of these diagonals, not including those, but every one of these diagonals, the numbers one to nine must be placed without repetition. That's it. I'm going to restart the puzzle to restart my timer. Let's give this one a shot. I'm going to just try and do some Sudoku here. So we can tell that one is on the diagonal here because it's off the diagonals here. Um, trying to look for other things I can do, such as six is up here, but it's not there. So six is in one of those two. Uh, seven is in one of those two. Three is in one of those two. Four. This is a one-two pair. That might be something. Seven, eight is in one of those two. I really don't know what I'm looking for here. Three is up here. Eight is up here. No, not three. Three is up here. Okay, times have been given generously. Woohoo. Okay, now, there's a couple of diagonal tricks that I did learn, like, but I'm not seeing them being used yet. So... Three. 
So one is not in here. Is this geometry? So these are from five, six, seven, eight, nine. So one, two, three, and four must go down here. So I'm looking for naked singles, knowing that one, two, three, four must be down here. So four is in one of these. So four is in one of those two. I should have seen that earlier. Three can't be there or there. Two can't be, no. Uh, this doesn't feel gassish. This really doesn't feel gassish. So four, five, six, and seven have to go in. Well, four is down here. Five, six, seven. So seven is up here. Five and six. Five isn't there. No, six isn't there or there or there. So six is in one of those three. But six is also in one of those two. So there's the concept of these cells have to be different. One. And I did once explore the concept of what that meant where you didn't have three, hang on. So one, two, three, four, these are from five, six, and seven. And there's no six there. And these <clears throat> five, six, seven, and eight. No, this is not doing it, is it? Well, there's no six there. This is a five, seven pair. Hang on. Six is up here. So six is in one of those two. This is a five, seven pair. One, two, three, four, five, can't be six, seven, eight, nine. Right, this is a five, seven pair. So this is a six, eight pair, which means that's a seven. That's really weird. Which means this is a three, seven pair, and I know the order. There's the trick. So if this is a six, eight pair, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, five, nine. And the five means that's the nine and that's the five. That means these are a pair. Well, no, they're not. They're one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, six, and eight. But there's no eight there. There's no one there. Give me a six, eight pair making this the one, which means this is not the one. Oh, the six, that's the eight, that's the six, that's the eight. The six, of course, means that wasn't the six and that was the six. I had that earlier and didn't use it. This isn't the eight, this is a triple. One, two, five, and nine. There's no five in those, so that's the five. This is one and four. And these are two, eight, and nine. 
but I've got one and five already on this line. So f this is seven, this is five, because I can't repeat seven on the diagonal. I'm not really solving this as a speed solve at all. Five is in one of those two, but five is already on the diagonal. That's not the five, that's the five, which puts five in one of those two. I've really given up on the concept of speed solving this thing. Um, so this is a triple. Three, four, six. There's no three there. There's no six there. Four, five is in one of those two. And nine is in here as well. That's... Got to put two in this column? No? Okay. I've got to put eight somewhere in this diagonal. And I can't put it up here or down here anymore. And it's not there. So eight is in one of those two. But eight has to be on this diagonal as well. Eight is the central digit. What's this quadruple? One, two, three, four, six. There's no three up here. There's no four in either of those. Oh, because four had to be on this diagonal. There's no two there. There's no six down the bottom. Actually, there's no six on the diagonal at all. So this is three, taking three out of there. Two four pair makes this six, which looks up taking six out of there, making this six. This is a three four pair. This is now known as well. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, and nine. And this isn't five. This isn't four. I'm not doing very well at this. Six, seven, and eight. There's no six. No, ah, this is the six, and this is the seven. This is the eight. Okay, the two four. Can I do anything with that? Maybe. What's this pair? One, two, three, four, and eight. Well, that's resolved. Four, eight, and four. It takes eight out of there. There's no eight there either. This is the eight. Four has to go in this row now. So this is the four, this is the one. So this row is missing two, three, and nine. So this is two or three. And that's two, three, or nine. Okay, but I've got a two, three, four triple now. So that's the one. Which means this isn't the one. This is the one. The two, four on this diagonal means one, two, three, four, five. This is a nine, which means this is a two. This is a nine. This is not a nine. So I've got a two, three pair. One, two, three, four, five, six. These are seven and nine. And I know the order. Nine and seven. This row is missing a three. This box is missing a two. Oh, this one makes this two and this one, which puts two down here somewhere. Ah, but two has to go in here, so that's the two. These are one and six, and I know the order, six and one. Uh, so this means this isn't nine. What am I missing in this column? One, two, three, four, five seven. So these are from four, five, seven. There's no seven there. So the four, five pair makes that seven. This column, one, two, three, four, uh, three, five, nine. So these are three, five, and nine. There's no three there. So the five, nine pair makes this three. So this is four, five, nine. So it's four or nine. Oh, 
oh, it's this diagonal. Three makes that four, which makes that three. The four looks down, making that two, which makes that three and that two. This is four. The two looks over, making this nine and this two. The nine makes that four, which of course makes that five, that nine, that which looks up, making that five, that four, and that nine. 12 minutes, 22. This is not a good hat time. What a terrible way for me to end my video. How did I go? Eight minutes 30, I did not make, but I did get one hat. I'm really sorry about that, everyone. It took me a very long time to realize what was going on in row three. Wow. Okay. This is going to be a very long video. I was, thought I was better at diagonals than that, but I really did lose the plot on that puzzle. There you go. That's the way it is. Thank you, everyone, for watching. Um, to find out how to elegantly solve this puzzle, check out the Gas Sudoku Solving um, or the Genuinely Approachable so Sudoku YouTube channel. There is um, also their homepage, which will link off to other channels that are also solving these puzzles. So you may find... Um, uh, you may find something there that um, will interest you. Some of the other YouTube solvers that are also solving the gas puzzles. Um, I am not going to be one that sits here and says, I'm the only person in the community that you should look at. Um, that That's not something that I'm going to do. We're a, we're a big, broad community and there should be um, people for everyone. Um, what else? Uh, yeah, I'm... Um, hopefully going to be able to, yeah, I will keep doing these, um, whether I'll be able to keep the daily schedule up, um, over the, the break, I'm not sure. Um, it will be, there'll be a lot going on for everyone, as you can imagine. So yeah, we'll see how all that goes. Thank you everyone for watching. I hope you're enjoying the videos. Um, thank you to the support from the people who put out the genuinely approachable Sudoku puzzles. Um, and as always, good luck with your solving.